back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a doctor working in Cambridge. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a tour of my 2019 productivity desk setup. So I'm gonna talk through everything on this desk, all the peripherals, the desk, everything like that. But before we get started, I just wanna say a massive thank you, huge, huge thank you to anyone who subscribed to this YouTube channel or who's been watching these YouTube videos over the last two years. As a massive nerd, I've been fantasizing about, you know, having the perfect desk since I was like five years old. And so now I genuinely think like, I, I can't really imagine things getting much better than this. So thank you so much uh, if you've been watching these videos. It's because of you that, you know, I can now live this sort of life where <laughs> I've got this sick desk set up and then I can now make a video about it. Anyway, let's get on to the meat of this video uh, and let's start with the desk. And this is the Jarvis electrical standing desk from Fully. They very kindly sent this to me just to try out a couple of weeks ago and I've been absolutely loving it. And this desk has different height settings. So if I press number one, then it goes on standing desk mode. And then I think the autofocus is not gonna keep hold of me with the camera. I have no idea if I'm in focus. I'm probably not because it's probably focusing on this. But yeah, that's setting number one. I think from now on, I'm always just going to have a electrical standing desk because it's just so nice. Like anytime if I'm editing and I'm getting super bored or something or if I'm studying for an exam and I'm getting super bored, all I have to do is switch the setting and then I feel like I have this second wind of energy. Let's now move on to the next big thing. And that is this enormous monitor. And this is the LG 49 inch UM something, something, something. And this is an absolute beast. In my previous desk setup, I had a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and I thought that was wide. But this, this, this thing is 49 inches. That's just ridiculous. You might think, what's the point of having a 49 inch ultra wide monitor? But it's basically like having two 27 inch monitors side by side, just without the bezel thing in the middle of it. And so my main use case for this is firstly, when I'm editing on Final Cut, I can just have all 49 inches for editing. So I've got the whole timeline across the whole thing. It's also great for multitasking because then I can do a triple window setup. So I have a window in the middle, which is like 27 inches in the middle over there. That's my main window. And then off to the side, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, I have other apps. And I can just kind of juggle these apps around. Let's say I get an email. I just open up Superhuman using Alfred. That goes in one window. Let's say I get a message on Slack. Boom, that goes in another window. And it's just so nice. And this monitor is floating in midair thanks to this heavy duty Ergotron monitor mount. This does come with a stand, but I thought, you know, it's just a bit cooler having the having the monitor sort of looking like it's floating in midair. And I don't like the fact that there is a huge bulk when you have a stand with a monitor. And the thing that's powering the monitor and powering the whole setup is my trusty 15 inch MacBook Pro with retina display and touch bar. And the great thing about this monitor is that it's a single USB-C cable that connects. And so I'm living that one cable life where if I'm going away, I just unplug the cable, take my laptop out and go away. And then when I get back home, put the laptop back in that stand thing, plug the cable in and I'm good to go. Speaking of the stand, this is this some fancy walnut stand thing that I bought from I think fy.com. This just looked really cool when I saw it. And if you're wondering, the MacBook skin is a sticker that I got from dbrand. I think that's their marble version. I just think it looks a little bit nicer than the black unibody finish of the MacBook Pro. For the speakers, we've got a generic set of Logitech speakers that I literally bought about five years ago from Amazon, maybe for about 20 or 30 pounds. And they have served me fine ever since. I am looking to upgrade them, but to be honest, I don't really need to at this point. And usually if I'm listening to music, I just play it on the HomePod, which there's one in the living room and one in the kitchen. In terms of peripherals for the mouse, I'm using the Logitech MX Master. I think this is the MX Master 1. The keyboard that I'm using is the original Apple wireless Bluetooth keyboard. I've actually been using this exact keyboard since 2007. I bought it off my friend James when we were in year nine, the ninth grade, like this exact same keyboard for the last 12 years. It's just like the best thing ever, it's so good. And then on the left-hand side, I've got the Apple Magic Trackpad. This is quite nice, so because I like having both the mouse and the trackpad available, especially for editing, because then I can do stuff with the mouse and then I can like scroll through the timeline with the trackpad. Other things on the desk, I have got two lamps from Tomons. One of them is that Pixar looking lamp over there. I usually have it pointing in the corner where it gives some, some kind of nice glow. And then I've got a more orangey glowy one over there. And these lamps are powered by Philips Hue light bulbs that I've got throughout the living room and also in my bedroom. And that means I can change the scenes to whatever color I want. We could have read or relax or concentrate, which is kind of blue or energize or Arctic Aurora, Savannah sunset, tropical twilight. And this is the one that I like using. I, I call it ice and fire, it, like a little sort of teal and orange sort of look. And yeah, other things on the desk, I've got these two Japanese cups that have been featuring in my desk setups since about 2014 when I visited Japan for a research project. One of them is for pens, one of them is for coins. So those go on either side. And of course, because I consider myself a tech YouTuber, I have this fake Ikea potted plant that again, I've had for several years. There was this psychology study that I read about where it's like, it shows that if you have greenery in your office or in your working space, that increases creativity. So that was what I told myself when I was buying this plant. Uh, not that I just wanted to copy every other tech YouTuber. Speaking of plants, behind me, we have a Kentia palm, which is a really good house plant. It's quite hard to kill. It's quite sturdy. You have to water it about once a week. And yeah, I just think this is a really nice addition. It's like a real plant 
plant. I was gonna go for fake plants, like in addition to this, but my mom vetoed the idea of me having fake plants in the house, but she let me keep this one because I mean, I had it already and it would have been a waste of money. So all the other plants in the house are real, which is slightly annoying because I do have to remember to water them once a week. But you know, as a 25 year old adult now, who pays bills and taxes and you know stuff like that, I thought, you know, <laughs> it's not that hard watering plants once a week. Let's talk a bit more about furniture and the chair I'm using is actually this standing desk stool from Fully. Uh, they sent me this along with the desk. The idea behind this stool is that you, it, it, it doesn't let you sit still, you kind of have to rock. And so I find that when I'm sort of in front of my desk all day, I do actually have to work my core a little bit just to, to stay upright. And then on the right hand side of the desk, we've got two Alex drawer units from Ikea again. Let's talk about cable management now. And actually this is the best job I've ever done with cable management. And this Java standing desk makes it really easy because it's got these metal bits underneath it that are quite good at holding cables. And the fact that I've got so much space on the right hand side where the Alex drawer units are mean that the whole mess of cables and plugs and all that stuff is sitting behind the chest of drawers and you can't really see them. A few more things I have on my desk. I always have a deck of cards with me. I have been into close-up magic and stuff like that since the age of 17. So when was that? That was eight years ago. Wow, that is a long time. Um, and so whenever I'm watching something on YouTube or if I ever have idle hands and I need something to do with my hands, then I just get out the deck of cards. And I also have a coaster with a coffee cup usually. This had some peppermint tea because it's half past midnight now and I'm burning the midnight oil, but peppermint tea is quite good because it relaxes me before bed. And this is a lovely little coaster that was made by one of my friends, Marcus, and it's Clam Rats, which is like the first initial of eight of my uh, university friends. It's very, it's all very wholesome and it's got little different symbols uh, that symbolize different bits of a holiday that we all went on together. And actually on the theme of productivity, I've recently started watching documentaries on my desk on this monstrosity of a 49 inch monitor while having food. And like, I've not really watched proper TV for the last like five years since starting university because I just kind of thought, oh, watching TV is a waste of time. But since I discovered documentaries recently, I've kind of changed my mind on that front and I've actually been watching stuff that actually helps my life. And that is hopefully a seamless segue into Curiosity Stream, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. Curiosity Stream is the world's leading documentary streaming subscription platform founded by John Hendricks, who's the founder of the Discovery Channel. And on Curiosity Stream, you can find thousands of documentaries to stream. There were two that I particularly enjoyed. One of them was about meditation and why meditation works. And it was this researcher kind of going through meditation and then doing brain scans and showing how legit meditation is. And that's actually encouraged me to start trying to meditate a little bit more in my life. And another one was about why we sleep. So that was a real eye opener pun not intended, um, and made me change a few things about my sleep habits because I realized that actually I'm not getting as much sleep as I need to. And I really don't want to get dementia and Alzheimer's and stuff when I'm older. So, you know, sleep is the time where, you know, according to the documentary, which is based on research, our brain helps kind of wash away the stuff that accumulates throughout the day, all these various waste products. So I really enjoyed those two. And actually one that I watched earlier today while having my gourmet burger kitchen takeaway, uh, was part of a nutrition series, which is all about the benefits of plant-based diets and why we should have more fruit and veg in our diets. And I was watching that while munching on a falafel burger. So the falafel burger was quite plant-based. But yeah, I've, I've started now watching these documentaries anytime I have dinner in front of my desk. And I just feel like that's an extra dose of productivity in my life, you know, just to go with the theme of the productivity desk setup. So if that sounds like something that you might also be into, then please do visit curiositystream.com forward slash Ali and enter the coupon code Ali at checkout. And that will give you a free 30 day trial in which you can sample any of the documentary titles that you like. But yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, there's gonna be in a playlist over there somewhere that has more of my desk setup text, tech themed videos. Uh, so hopefully you'll find those enjoyable as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.